Hey folks, this is Fred with a quick video on what I feel is an essential app to have for the Galaxy Note 3 or any Android phone really, especially if you're not rooted and running custom ROMs and that is the Nova Launcher. Uh, I'll show you in the Play Store here. Uh, the top two, uh, there's a free version and the Prime version. I highly recommend the Prime version, but of course uh, you have to have pay for it. So if you just want to sort of try it out, definitely get the free version. It has a few less options, but uh, once you try it, you'll definitely want to upgrade to the Prime. Um, can't remember how much it costs. It's under five bucks though, but um, and basically the concept is that you can customize the entire operating system again without rooting it, and uh, it, it's stuff that you wouldn't even think that you would need until you just try it. It's quite uh, amazing to be quite honest so uh, I'm gonna set this up for the first time and show you some of the differences and one of the one things you'll notice right off the bat is the w number of apps that you can put on a screen here uh, what do we have four one two three four uh, well 16 here uh, plus the home row and you're just gonna notice how um, many more apps you can put on the screen um, big big difference uh, so anyway let's get right to it uh, we'll open it up and uh, right away you can actually import the settings from the current um, uh, method setup that you have into the new setup so we'll do that now and we're going to import from the TouchWiz. Import desktop items from TouchWiz home. It found 97 items across six de desktop pages, eight folders, and one dock. Uh, now it does give a note and explains the widgets cannot be automatically imported. Instead, Nova Launcher will create a placeholder. Uh, you may tap to reselect and create the widget. First thing, a note that um, you'll notice that the widget that comes with TouchWiz, that uh, big uh, weather and um, um, clock widget, that's specific to TouchWiz, so you will have to download a new uh, weather and uh, clock widget on the market. I'll show you some. Uh, but anyway, let's start. And right away, this is the home screen. Um, and you'll notice, uh, automatically, we have that's the same 16 apps. Uh, that we were on the first screen, but we have enough room to add two more rows of apps. Um, you can even customize the dock towards the bottom here, so whereas that it, you can add a bunch of apps down here. Now, like I mentioned, you will have to get another clock and weather widget. Uh, you can get any one. The one I use is this Android Weather and Clock by Dev Expert, and it just looks cool. Um, it's free and simple to set up. Um, I use the very large one um, and then I shrink it down. Uh, the large one just looks a lot better. But it's, uh, it's pretty simple and everything on it is customizable. Uh, you shrink it down and then we'll slide it over to the home screen and set it up there. Voila. Now one of the things you want to do in the settings for the Nova Launcher is make uh, the Nova Launcher the default operating system. Um, and you just uh, tap on the red button there. And the reason why is because otherwise, um, if you hit home without doing this, it's going to uh, ask you which one of these three launchers you want to use every single time. And so you just uh, make it the default. That way, every time you hit the home button, you will be using the Nova Launcher. Now, one of the cool features of the Nova Launcher is that it has gestures. And uh, so what we're going to do is set it up to where is that when you swipe down anywhere on the screen, it'll expand the notification tray. So a uh, quick explanation. Normally, you have to go towards the top up here to bring down the tray, uh, which is cool. But we have a Galaxy Note 3. This is a big phone. So Nova Launcher makes it easier to pull down that notification tray uh, like this, but with makes it easier to make it one-handed, basically. Uh, and so 
as opposed to going up to the top up there we can pull the notification tray down from any portion of the screen anywhere just like that uh, you don't have to do that far reach just swipe from anywhere on the screen another quick example of a gesture you can use a swipe up feature to access the app drawer like so very cool again swipe up another good feature uh, under the settings is uh, under the gestures you can also control all three buttons change the complete way that they function so normally um, for example with the home button you hit the home button once and the previews come up um, you long press and of course you get your currently running applications uh, but I want to change the home button to sort of work like uh, the iPhone does with Siri where you tap it and you can ask a question or you know do a, a Google search uh, and so what you do you go to Nova settings back to gestures and buttons and long press oh no no here it is home button we're gonna change it from showing the preview to doing a Google Now voice search one time there it is awesome and you can still of course hold long press and get your um, apps currently running apps so it is great I love it uh, you can change any of those buttons that way um, and customize everything else again highly recommended folks that is the Nova launcher if it'll come up now oh, there it is so thanks for watching